The Imperial Army's mobilizing. Gustav has command. So a Grand General is coming. Our attack on the former capital is bearing fruit. Furthermore, morale within Jutland increases. Same with the momentum in Parliament and the pro-war factions. It was perfect. This is possible thanks to you inspiring the nation. It was a really good column. The Jetlin army can still fight. The Liberation War isn't over yet. The citizens have faith in the military. Your words have lifted the country's spirits. It's like they forgot all about Cavaltus. Better if they do. Vi, you keep track of Gustav. This time, we're taking him out for good. Aren't you going to eat, milady? I seem to have lost my appetite. Not hungry? Who are you, and what have you done with Ophelia? Oh, please. It's just about the incident at Mugen Roos. I had a feeling something's been bothering you since then. Why was the attack even necessary? It seemed less about raising morale than simply trampling over the Empire's former capital. Hmm. You seem lost. I wonder what my brother would have done. Scolded me, most likely. Well then, I'll take over for him. Nope, just don't have it in me. Then what do you think, Miranda? I did have the same question, but at the end of the day, orders are orders, so I left it at that. Then you must think me foolish for thinking such things. Now, I didn't say that. If you're still in doubt, why not talk it over with the captain? He would probably not even bother to scold me. Still, he is your commanding officer. If a subordinate has doubts, it's on him to keep it from affecting the operation. <sighs> oh, what to do? If you stay like this, not even singing is going to help. For not having a scolding in you, that hit close to home. And to tell the truth, there's been something bothering me too. About my brother. What happened? Did you not hear back from him? About the captain? <sighs> Godot did investigate him for me once. After that, however, I received no further reports. I could scarcely bring it back up, considering Amlet was... My brother did follow up on it. I found his research notes. Did you read them, Miranda? Yes, milady. I entrust this to your highness. <sighs> All that's written there, I believe to be true. To read or not to read, that is the question. Whether it's nobler to reveal the truth or hide it, the choice is yours. It seems you can be every bit as strict as Godot after all. Well, I am his little sister.
June 23rd. Led by Admiral Gustav, the Ruse army attacked Avalun's industrial zone with a squad of heavy mana weaponry. The Jutland Army's guard was by no means weak, and their defense perimeter was firmly established. However, Commander Gustav tossed them about with clever tactics and his squad's nimble offense. It's written in the history of the war that they sieged Avalun in only a few hours. All righty then. Let's pay back the favor, shall we? The Ruse army thoroughly triumphed over the Jutland army. It was a battle in which Gustav handily restored his honor. Knowledge will help you grow. You're quite studious. How splendid. From whence did these underground papers come? Likely from within the military itself. Heed their warning! Tis clear that war is futile. Unless we cease and desist, we will gain nothing but more casualties. 
I'd like everyone to consider the following. The only basis that Councilman Lindegard has for this doubt is an anonymous underground paper. It's utter foolishness to suggest ending the war on something so questionable. The documents are anonymous, true. I have proof, however, that they are indeed connected to our armed forces. The death toll of those the Valkyria killed at the Battle of Covaltis is in fact five times higher than the army reports. This was no victory, but a tragic defeat, and falsifying the truth of the matter makes a mockery of our fallen soldiers. Then would you? Please, hear me out. The anti-Valkyria squad, our kingdom's supposed war heroes, have yet to show demonstrable results. That much is proven. Surely you realize how much Vanagen has already drained our national budget. We paid for the wolves of war. What we got are paper tigers. You would dare slander the squad that liberated not only our country, but many others in that manner. This is reality, not calumny. We need to withdraw. Even as a proponent of the war, would you not agree that more fighting is meaningless from a diplomatic standpoint? Jutland has done more than enough to show off its strength. Now we should parlay with the Empire and the major powers. Believe me, the violence can end. Let us stop this war! Well, that's quite the 180. I can't believe it. It's like people think you started the war. At first, the thought of liberation was appealing. Freet Erikson's columns made me hopeful for the change Jutland would bring to Europa. But then, we started hearing facts that didn't quite line up with Mr. Erikson's accounts. Yet despite this, the tone of his arguments remained the same. That's enough. They're all the same. Are you going to let me keep writing? <clears throat> Is it affecting sales? As a matter of fact, yes. Listen, Freet. I'm sorry, but we gotta cut your column. I had a hunch. It's what the suits want. I can't do anything about it. Don't worry about it. If there's no longer an audience for my writing, it is what it is. Maybe you could write something that helps bring the war to an end. I don't think so. I believe this war is necessary. Once a punch is thrown, there's no taking it back. And I'll stand by that belief to the bitter end. I see. Would it be better to avoid war altogether? Sure. But it was our right to start this war. Our right? Jutland was on the brink of poverty because of the embargo. We needed to start this war to survive. If there's one thing I've learned from all this, It's that some things can't be achieved without a fight. When the war's over, will you write for us again? If you'll have me. <laughs>